I am a fully qualified accountant and today I'm going to be taking you through all my pay slips and how my career has progressed throughout the years. Because some of the salaries were such a long time ago, I will leave the amount that it would be now adjusted for inflation. Also, all the figures that I'm going to say do not include any bonuses, just because that really does depend and I don't think that should be the main thing that you focus on. Rewinding all the way back to 2017, that was my first proper finance job. And that was at Universal Pictures in the finance controllership team. This was my placement year. So after two years of uni, I got this job, was working there for a year and I was earning £20,000. And £20,000 in 2017 would be the equivalent of this much in 2024. And at the time, I was just so happy to be earning because prior to that, obviously, I was just a broke uni student. So having this year out to earn, to save up, go traveling and also just, you know, have enough money for the following year. It really did help and that year was honestly life-changing for me just because prior to that I didn't know exactly what job I wanted to do but after doing that year after seeing all my colleagues and you know how they got to where they are I knew that I also wanted to become a qualified accountant and become a finance manager one day. Thank you to Teddy Blake for sponsoring this video. I picked out this beautiful handbag from their website and this is the Ava 14 inch in light beige and I absolutely love it. It is made of premium Italian leather and I'll be mainly using it for work because it does actually fit my laptop, my notebook and all other little extras. It has two pockets on the inside and a zip pocket at the back of the bag which is very useful and it also comes with an optional shoulder strap if you prefer wearing it like that. I genuinely love this handbag so much. The build quality is incredible, the colour's amazing, the style, the design. It's just so high quality and the fact they've been able to make a luxury handbag at a much fairer price is just incredible. On their website they have tons and tons of different bags in loads of different styles and colours and right now they actually have a sale on and some of their handbags are up to 60% off. You can also use the code TBLA30 for an extra $30 off any handbag so make sure you go and have a little browse. Also make sure you follow them on social media, they're very active on Instagram and TikTok. I'll leave all of their links below. After that I went back to final year and I was just applying to so many finance jobs, mainly finance graduate schemes and trainee accountant jobs just because I knew that I wanted them to sponsor my ACCA qualification. I did not want to pay for that myself, it is way too expensive. In the end I had two offers, so one was from Trainline which was 27000 a graduate management accountant role and that was sponsoring the SEMA qualification. And the other one was from Camelot and the starting salary was only 23650 but they would sponsor the ACCA qualification and they weren't based in London, whereas Trainline was based in central London. It was a personal preference and I chose to go with Camelot because that's only a 25 minute drive away for me and it just makes my life easy. I wanted to do ACCA over SEMA and I also wanted to be able to drive into work. So yeah, that was my starting salary at Camelot and the role was trainee accountant and it was a rotational graduate scheme. So that was a three-year program rotating through all the different teams within finance. I joined Camelot in September 2019 and I had my first ACCA exam in December 2019. So that's when my exam started. And then in October 2020, I got a pay rise to 26,000. All the graduates yearly, you'd get a pay rise. Although this isn't that much, it was still nice because you know, they did have us in a study contract. So basically, because they'd started paying for our exams, we weren't allowed to, you know, go out for free. And then in October 2021, my salary increased to 32,000. At the time, I was really grateful. Um, considering I was living with my parents, I was only paying them rent about 350, 400 a month. So I didn't have that many outgoings. So I was still able to start saving quite a lot of money. And work-wise, I was still just doing my rotations within all the different finance teams. My next salary increase after that was in April 2022. And because of inflation, Camelot decided that they would increase everyone's salary by 4.5%, which I was really grateful for because I was starting to look at housing, look at flats, and the salary is what really matters. So this increase, even though it was small, it really helped in my mortgage application for this flat because when I applied for this flat, I only had a salary of 33,440. And then my big salary increase happened in October 2022. So three years after I joined Camelot, my graduate scheme had finished and I'd got a permanent role in the gaming team. And that is when my salary increased to 45,000. And I was so, so, so happy because going from 33,440 to 45,000, it just felt like such a huge jump. Even after taxes, I did have a lot more disposable income monthly. So again, it just really helped in saving up for furniture for this flat and all of that stuff. So 
was really grateful. So just to put it into perspective, I started my ACCA exams in December 2019 and I finished them all in December 2022. So exactly three years later, I did get my uh, qualified salary increase three months early in October. And obviously by this point, my title had changed from trainee accountant to gaming and compliance accountant because that was the team that I was working in full time, no more rotations. And I loved it there. The team was so kind. Camelot is based in Watford, not in London. So that's why the salary is so much lower. Normally, the higher salaries are for companies that are based in London. And as soon as I got that qualification, um, I just put a line on LinkedIn, you know, saying certifications, ACCA qualified. And I think this is something that recruiters look for, because as soon as I put that on my LinkedIn, even though I didn't put open to work or anything like that, loads of recruiters just started reaching out to me saying, hi, I see you're newly qualified. We've got all of these new roles. Are you interested? So it just goes to show that as soon as you get your ACCA qualification, your value just goes up so much. Most of the people that reached out to me, I didn't reply or I would just tell them that, sorry, I'm not interested right now. I'm not looking to move. But then one recruiter messaged me and it was a fully remote role and the title was finance manager. And that to me was insane because I just qualified in December 2022. Three months later, I was getting a role that's finance manager. As soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, I can't say no to this. So I did say, okay, yeah, I'm happy to do an interview. Did an interview and it went really well and I did get the job. So that job was 58,000. I had a really good feeling about the company. It was a medical insurance company. And yeah, it was a great role and it was fully remote. So at the time I was like, wow, this is incredible, perfect. I handed in my notice, but then Camelot actually made a really good counter offer that I just could not reject. At the time, obviously, I just moved into a flat and I needed money. Money was my main kind of priority. So, yeah, they made a counter offer and I decided to stay at Camelot slash Alwyn. So the new company that took over Camelot, their offer in total was 65 to 70,000. But I can't specify exactly what it was, only because it was made up of a base secondment allowance and a retention payment. And I did sign an agreement to say that I wouldn't say what the retention payment is. So since April 2023, I've been working as a finance manager. So 75% of my role is at Alwyn as a finance manager. And then 25% is within Camelot still doing my gaming and compliance accountant role. And now in 2024, I got a new job as an FP&A manager and I will be starting in February. So mid-Feb, really excited for it. And I'm not going to specify the exact salary. I think my main thing is I got really comfortable at Camelot and, you know, I just love the people. I love the culture and it was hard to kind of leave that, especially if they were giving me even more money. So it does show sometimes after you've been at a company for a long time, if they don't see your value and aren't paying you what you're worth, then definitely look around, look at other jobs. But, you know, if you are working at a company that the culture's great and they are rewarding you for your work, then I 100% agree you should stay on. So yeah, that is my career journey so far. And I do feel really lucky. I think it's very rare to find high paying jobs outside of London. And the fact that I've been able to in the past year is really incredible. And yeah, I'm just really grateful for the recruiter. He's actually the same recruiter that found the job last year for that medical insurance company. So it really just goes to show when you build up a relationship with the recruiter, they kind of know you and they will find jobs and companies that suit your personality because it was really important for me to not work somewhere corporate I don't want to work in banking or stuff like that it's just not a bit of me I'd rather work somewhere where the culture is a lot more friendly and it's just more chill so in summary I started off as a trainee accountant 23,650 and three years later after qualifying I got to 45,000 and then because of a counter offer that went up to 65 to 70,000, it shouldn't have taken me finding another job for them to increase my salary. But sadly, that is the case with lots of companies. If they see you doing your job without any complaints, without any negotiating, they're not going to increase the salary. So it really is up to you to negotiate your salary or find a job somewhere else if you don't think you're being paid fairly. That has been my career journey so far. If you've got any questions or want to know anything else, Leave it down below and I will answer either in the comments or in a future video. Thank you guys. Bye.